Hi friends! This is Miss Sarah with the Milwaukee Letting Library and today I would like to read a book with you about dinosaurs. Rawr! Would you like to pretend to be a dinosaur? I thought so. Rawr! Stomp! 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 Wow, that was a really good dinosaur. For our first song, we need two dinosaurs. So this is going to be dinosaur number one. This is dinosaur number two. What are your favorite kinds of dinosaurs? Mm, very cool. I think mine are going to be a T-Rex and a Stegosaurus. Okay. Dinosaur, dinosaur, where could you be? Hiding behind me where no one can see. Here comes one, she's looking at you. Here comes another, now there are two. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> All right, let's go read a book about a shy dinosaur. Our book today is called Crunch the Shy Dinosaur. Crunch does look like he's feeling shy today. He is hiding behind a plant. How about you? Do you ever feel shy? Crunch the Shy Dinosaur by Shiraco Dunlap. Pictures by Greg Pizzoli. Do you see Crunch anywhere? No, I don't either. Let's check the next page. This is Crunch. Where? Where's Crunch? Hiding behind that bush. I can just see his two little eyes peeking out. He must be feeling very shy today. Crunch is shy. So you'll have to be the first to say hello. Go on, say hello. Let's give it a try. Hello, Crunch. Oh my, you've said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? I see a giant pink rock. Oh wait, that's not a pink rock, that's Crunch. And then I see his head behind that other rock. Oh, he's covering his eyes. He likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? You do. If you sing it, maybe he'll come out. Ready to sing happy birthday? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crunch. Happy birthday to you. It worked. He's out. Oh, and he's smiling. This is great. He loves birthdays because someone has one every day. How about you? When is your birthday? He loves days in general. He is very positive. What a lovely dinosaur. Try to say hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him. Okay, so let's practice using our whisper voice and say, hello, Crunch. Hello, Crunch. That was too quiet. He has gotten uncomfortably close to you. Oh, he's so close. All I can see is his head and his eyes. Try it one more time in a nice, medium sounding voice. Bold, yet gentle. Okay, let's try it. Hello, Crunch. Perfect. You can tell he liked that because he's an appropriate distance from you and also because he put on his most fun hat and is dancing. He does look like he's having a good time. Now you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. I'll go first. My name is Miss Sarah. Okay, now it's your turn. There's your name, perfectly painted. Do you see your name anywhere? No, I don't see mine either. 
Oh, you can't see it because it's behind that big pile of leaves. Well, that makes sense. Say, thank you, Crunch. Thank you, Crunch. <gasps> Your voice startled him. He ran all the way up that tree. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and very still and see if he climbs back down. Okay, let's practice being quiet and still. Shh. He's starting to climb down. Here he comes, I think it's working. Yay! Oh, good job being so quiet and still. Sometimes it's important to let shy dinosaurs come to you at their own pace. Oh, he's looking happy. I think he's enjoying being our friend. Now he looks a little sleepy and I see the sun starting to go down. Crunch is tired from all the climbing and painting and socializing. You can remind him that he should go to sleep by saying, good night, Crunch. Let's try. Good night, Crunch. He must have thought you said good light, Crunch. Oh, what a silly dinosaur. He brought a bunch of table lamps and I even see a flashlight. Hey, I see someone else on the page too, do you? A turtle is starting to poke its head out of its shell. I wonder if it was feeling shy too. Say goodnight crunch one more time in a calm and soothing voice. Good night crunch. Crunch says yawn. Maybe you can lie down when you say it to show him how nice sleep is. I'm going to put my head down on my hands and close my eyes. <sighs> hey, our turtle's all the way out of its shell. Must be feeling more comfortable now. You did it! He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. Oh look, he's snuggling his turtle friend. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. The end. That was so cool how we made friends with a dinosaur in that book. I wish I could be friends with a dinosaur. All right, it's time for our goodbye song. This one is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. It goes like this. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Now wave fast. Now wave slow, wave goodbye, I'll miss you so. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Bye-bye, friends. We'll see you next time.